What is going on, divine beings? I hope that you are embodying the practices that are supporting you and feeling good in your body. It is your girl, Abiyala Akani. I am the founder of the non-performative online yoga school, IA, as well as Divine Feminine Embodiment Coach. And I'm excited to get into today's topic. But before you do, if you are new here and this is your first time seeing my beautiful face, Welcome to the fam. I'm happy that you are here. If you are a high achieving, highly educated woman of color looking for support in navigating through high functioning anxiety, I definitely would like to support you. I have two options. One is to definitely check out my Divine Feminine Healing playlist for some tools that can guide you on your journey. And two is to register for my Divine Feminine Yoga Workshop. Now my Divine Feminine Yoga Workshop is a six week workshop for women like yourself who are really looking to move out of high functioning anxiety to deeply soothe their nervous system so that they can experience more freedom and self-security in their bodies. If that is you, pause the video to click the link in my description box to learn a little bit more and register for the program. You'll be set up with a call with me and we can chat a little bit more about how I can further support you on your journey. Once you do that, go ahead and unpause the video and I'll meet you right back here. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about high functioning anxiety. Why is that? Because oftentimes as highly educated, high achieving, high performing, women of color, we are operating in a mode of high functioning anxiety in the spaces that we are in, which are causing some of the symptoms that we're experiencing, which are overwhelm, burnout, fatigue, emotional dysregulation, and lack of self-security. The more awareness we have around if we are operating and high functioning anxiety, the more that we can adopt self-soothing techniques to begin to regulate our nervous system to bring us out of our fight or flight response center, which is your sympathetic nervous system, and move us into our parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and digest state. The number one sign that you might be experiencing high functioning anxiety is that instead of slowing down in response to anxiety, you actually do the opposite. You tend to ramp up and go even harder in the pain. What I mean by that is it's actually more challenging for you to slow down and sit with your body and be with your emotions. That's actually very uncomfortable for you to do. It's easier for you to kind of ramp yourself up and push your way through it, hustle your way through it, grind your way through it. And as a result, oftentimes those closest to you might classify you as a workaholic or somebody that is go, go, go all the time. Hustle culture and grind culture are the norm for you. And it's oftentimes why you find yourself in a constant state of busyness. It's not necessarily that it feels safe. It just feels very familiar. Now, as a yoga educator and someone who kind of prides themselves on kind of sitting with and moving through very heavy or dense emotions, I was surprised when I started to notice this pattern within myself in different periods within my life and in my business. I noticed it showing up a lot in my personal life because oftentimes in our professional life, go, go, go or high productivity works to our benefit. So we don't see it that much there. But when we're at home or we're away from our careers or the work that we do, we might find it very challenging to kind of slow down. And I definitely noticed this in my personal life. Instead of really allowing myself to cultivate vulnerability and intimacy with these individuals, I found myself trying to work through those times, bringing my laptop everywhere, being on my phone and being progressively busy working on my business or working on other aspects of my professional life so that I could avoid having those connections, so that I could avoid sitting with some of those unpleasant emotions. And it wasn't until I really gave myself the space to sit with them that I was able to begin to navigate through these kind of dense sensations. Is the second sign is that externally, you might often appear as cool as a cucumber. 
you look like you're just going through life easy peasy and things are right as rain and everything is fine. But on the inside, you're actually experiencing extreme and debilitating self-doubt and insecurity. However, because of an inability to really sit with those heavy and dense emotions and oftentimes be vulnerable with ourselves, no one knows that, which only leads to more hyper-perfectionism and making sure no one continues to know it. Now that can often come from a deep fear of failure that may be a result or defense mechanism to our childhood. So navigating through that and taking a moment to discern that there's a lack of vulnerability there is the beginning of acknowledging that you might be having this experience and also the beginning of moving out of it and closer to self-soothing practices that can guide you through and hold you as you begin to be vulnerable with yourself. Now the third sign is a big one and that is that you can oftentimes kind of logic your way through life and intellectualize everything that is meant to be embodied and or felt. What that can look like is that it can be challenging to get out of your head and into your body because of sign number one. It's just very unsettling to sit with unpleasant emotions or to sit with the chatter in your head and to kind of move through and process all of that density, that emotional density. And so as a result, intellectualizing your way through those things oftentimes make you feel a little bit safer. It creates this sense of security in your body that allows you to navigate past your emotions. Now, what tends to happen when we're doing this? We are heavily finding ourselves moving through our masculine, which is our rational or logical mind, the part of ourselves that is really associated with doing and taking action. And if we are hyper-masculine and that's not balanced with a lot of that femininity, it's gonna be challenging for us to cultivate a sense of self-security and self-trust and the foundational elements that we need to feel emotionally to process through some of those heavy emotions. So our first call here in response to noticing this sign of high functioning anxiety is to begin to hold some space for ourselves to feel into our bodies and kind of turn the mind off when it comes to responding to our external life. Instead of responding in a way that's extremely reactive, it can be helpful to give ourselves the opportunity to be a little bit more reflective and reflex into our receptivity, which is the defining characteristic of the divine feminine. It's there that we can begin to cultivate a little bit more self-security by embodying and being with our emotions which are lodged in or housed in the felt sense of the body. They're not up here. Now, if you're noticing these three signs of high functioning anxiety showing up in your professional or personal life where they're creating a wall or a barrier when it comes to these areas that you want to navigate through but you really don't know how, I would love to support you in that. Definitely click the link in my description box to learn a little bit more about my Divine Feminine Yoga Workshop beginning in September. Now this is a six week workshop rooted in supporting high achieving, highly educated women of color who are navigating through this experience. I've definitely been where you are, sis. And I want to assure you that you can move through this in a way that allows you to feel safer in your body. It is possible. Click that link in the description box to learn a little bit more and register and I'll see you on the other side. In the meantime, continue to be well by holding space for yourself in this. This is not an opportunity for you to be even more critical with yourself. It's okay 
to have this experience. Many of us do, and there's no need to judge yourself for it. What is called here is to really begin to hold space for ourselves in this so that we can soothe our nervous systems and hold our emotional bodies right here where we are. Don't forget to follow your girl on the gram at Yoga by Biala, as well as following my online yoga school at ia.well. Continue to be well, and I'll see you real soon with a new video.